I will open my Epic Games Launcher. I will directly click on Fortnite and I will launch the game. So what generally happens is for players when they try to do this, they're getting constant loop or sometimes it is not even getting logged in. So today I'll try to help you out in order to solve this problem. And the thing is that even I faced this problem and what I did in order to fix this. After watching this full video, if it still doesn't work, three things you have to tell me in the comment section. First, which Android version you're using. Second, which phone you're using. And third, is the developer mode in your phone is on. These three things after watching this video, if it's not working for your phone, do let know in the comment section. I will help you out on that point. Now, as you can see, I'm trying to log in into Fortnite and it's like it keeps on going like this for some players. For me, I think it's going to work perfectly fine and I'm not going to have this issue because I've eventually fixed it. So as you can see, I have logged in into the game and it's working perfectly fine. So I'm just going to close the game. So what basically you have to do is firstly, when you're opening an Epic Games launcher and let's say it's not signing in. so then you have to do is as you can see i have already signed in over here so let's say you're not able to sign in when you're about to sign in put your credentials and put inside you have to click on these three dots over here on the top and make sure you choose the desktop site first so let it open in a desktop site and once it has opened now you again click on the three dots and go back to the original site which it was now it may sound very strange but actually it does work for some players so make sure you do that and then try to sign in see if that helps this is the general point when you see most of the errors this is the screen when it comes to so log in with the epic games and when i'm going to hit this so it's going to ask me the things where to put the credentials so let's say i'm clicking on this so what you have to do when you're clicking on this and whatever browser you're having so let's say i'm opening google chrome so once it opens immediately go back and then log in again so you have to do it as fast as possible when chrome opens don't let it open just immediately press the back button and then the next time you click on login this time let chrome open fully once it opens fully since i've already logged in with the epic games launcher in the browser as you can see there's my account so i can simply continue but you have to put your credentials once you have put your credentials it will log in as same as this as you can see right now and then you're able to log in perfectly so as you can see it's logging in so let me fast forward this a bit and as you can see, I didn't face any issues. It's working perfectly fine. If this doesn't help, what you can do is you go to your settings and then scroll down. You're going to find your apps, go to app management, find the Fortnite and over here, you have to go to storage users and make sure you click on the clear data and the clear cache. And then you can restart your phone and then try to log in. I'm pretty sure it's going to fix your problem. Now, if this doesn't work and you're still having problems with the Epic Games launcher, or log in and into Fortnite. Scroll down this, go to settings, find something which is called as connection and sharing. It may be named something different on your phone depending on which phone you have, but make sure you see the word connection or network. So simply press this and you have to choose something which you call as private DNS. And over here, as you can see for now, my phone takes a DNS sub automatically, but you have to choose designated private DNS choose this and as you can see I have already put a DNS server for me so you have to put exactly this particular DNS I will put this in the description as well or in the pinned comment or you can pause the screen and just type this exactly same command this is a Cloudflare DNS server which can help you and make the connection stable so that you can log in, in perfectly so make sure you do this press the tick go back and then restart your phone open epic games launcher try logging in see if your problem is fixed Next step which you can do is it's slightly strange as you may think that it's not related but actually it is in the search bar you type the word battery and you're going to see my battery settings has opened up over here. So over here whenever you're playing the game make sure your battery saving mode which is there it should be off. If your battery saver is on it will give you this issue. I don't know how it happens what is the reason for that but make sure your battery saving option is off. You should play on the full battery. Once it is done, you go back, cross this, cancel this, scroll down to the very bottom, go to your about device, scroll down, go to version. You're going to find the build number over here. You have to just keep on pressing this for at least seven times and you're going to enable your development mode. So go back, go back again and then go to developer options. As you can see, my developer options on now. So you're going to scroll down over here. You're going to find background process limit. Press this, you can see standard limit, you have to choose at most four processes. So as you can see, at most four processes, make sure you choose this, go back, restart your phone and then try to log in in your game and your Epic Games launcher, it's going to work perfectly fine. So that was a video on how to fix login into Fortnite or Epic Games launcher in Android. 
If you're still having the issue, make sure you put down in the comment section those three things which I ask you: your phone model, your Android version, and whether your developer mode is on or off. If this video helped you, please don't forget to like, but consider subscribing to my channel if you're new here. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.